Welcome once again to Hometown Movies. My name is Michael Kelly. I'm your host. Tonight we have an unusual program I think you're going to enjoy. Uh, our guest tonight is Andrew Hahn, also known as Drew around here. Uh, and Drew is probably the youngest filmmaker in the Flint area. Uh, he not only makes his own films, he also directs a lot of the films we do here at Hometown Movies. Uh, Drew, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. Welcome. How old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen, all right. And uh, how long have you been directing and uh, producing films? Oh, gee, it's been for about um, about a year, about a year last month or so. Okay, how many programs would you say you've filmed or directed in your one year of filmmaking? I mean, how many programs individually? Yeah. You mean like episodes, right? Episodes. Yes, how like many how many programs, how many different single projects? Oh, um, I couldn't even begin to answer. It has to be at well, least a hundred or so, hundred, well, hundred fifty, two hundred. So we're talking. Let's say you. It's, let's say it's a uh, hundred and twenty-five. That means you have done a show roughly every three days, or averaging them out over well, the year. Well, because they normally do a couple shows mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So basically, it could level down to that. Okay. Um, I mean, normally, uh, the, um, the other people you work with are at least in their 20s, uh, mm -hmm. many in their 30s, some of us in our 40s. And 60s. Hey, oh, yeah, right. So how... But we won't reveal Ted Johnson's age. Okay. How did you get, uh, how did you get here? Um, I think it must have started, had to start one year ago. And, um, gosh, how I guess my mother had called up uh, Steve Hester here. You had, you've had him on before. Yeah. And um, they had a conversation about uh, about me working here, and um, and if you know Steve, uh, I don't think any viewers know except for the show you did. He's he's like, yeah, let him hang out there. Mom didn't kind of. It's just like let him hang out there. Who's so anyway? We uh, finally, I guess, got around to. It. I don't know how this story begins, and I don't know where I'm going with it. It just eventually, I got a letter from my school that, that um, was sent to Fort four kids or so because um, we had all been doing video together and I was about the only one who followed through with it so I'm here and so you've done video before you came to Comcast right right what was the f first now have you ever worked film or has it all been video I've been I've worked film before I've gone to a um, some classes and workshops and I I have actually done film before but um, I specialize in video. Okay. And for our, our viewers, I do want to point out, when we talk about the work Drew is doing, we're not talking about some cute kid who hangs around, maybe runs a camera now and again, goes, gets cokes. No, we're talking about somebody that directs, films, edits, and assembles programs. Now, um, Drew, what was the very first film slash video project you ever did? Ever did? Ever. Uh, not related to Comcast. Ever. Um... Well, that would have to be in sixth grade. We had uh, some oral presentations we had to do, and I guess I kind of needed extra credit, so, <laughs> so I thought it was a great idea that we should uh, work it in, work, put it on video, and uh, keep it away and show other people. Um, we put it on video, kept it away, didn't show any other people, but we still got my extra credit, and that's how it all started. And um, I guess if you want to get into the long version of it, we had done some, uh, we had done a lot of journalism for our school. We had um, produced weekly news you know weekly newscasts um, which turned out to be monthly and but that's another issue and we produced things for the school such as our little orientation for the fifth graders mm -hmm. going to sixth grade on um, how to do a science fair project stuff like that so that's that's basically how it started what part of the production process do you enjoy the most Oh, that had to be being interviewed by you, Mike. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I'm not trying this to... This kid's going all the way. He's going, I'm talking no, Oscar here. No, but. it'd have to be uh, directing. Uh -huh. I enjoy directing the most. Um, I have. Um, I like doing independent producing and directing. I've done um, a nature special, which uh, I entered into the Detroit Area Film Teachers Association and won um, a first prize there. And uh, I did... I went out with the camera and um, we edited it here at Comcast with the help of um, a, man, a very great man, John Katarski, who's directing right now. Yeah, he helped me helped me out with that, and um, 
Oh, yeah, I did win a first prize for that. Let's, uh, do you have a copy of that with you today? Gosh, yes, I think okay. I do. I think okay. I gave it to John. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, can you give us an introduction on it, Drew? Um, a setup, okay. Um, this is basically my... Uh, Boy, I tell you, these, these young people in show business are so cynical. They know everything, you know. David Letterman got really mad because someone didn't say it yesterday. So. Okay. Well, it's um, basically uh, it's a nature special that I did. Um, these are nature pictures that form our nature preserve. Uh, since we're so pressed for time, we can't show the whole thing. But um, here's some clips from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's a piece of some of uh, Drew Hahn's work uh, that he did before he started producing here at Comcast on the radio. That's what I was doing. Oh, that's why you were here. Okay. Uh, and you won an award for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you were, what, 13 when you did that? Yes. Okay. Um, where do you want to be 10 years from now? Um, at the ripe old age of 24. I want to take over your job. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not that good, but... Uh, oh. Well, no, I'm thinking about, um, I'd like to be an executive so I can make some more of these. Executives don't do, executives are in offices signing contracts yeah, and selling airtime. I'm just trying to get a background of this stuff. Um, I hope I'm not in this for life, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be, um, I want to be doing something in television. I'm mm -hmm. not sure whether it's on the production side or whether I want to be an executive. Um, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have my own show. Mm -hmm. Think so? Um, now, when you say you like to direct, uh, a lot of people think of directing in terms of uh, the theater uh, mm -hmm. or even film work, where the director is very much the controlling force of what goes on. The director uh, selects cast, uh, sets up uh, the way uh, scenes are shot, uh, uh, the way um, uh, roles are played. That really is the case in, in video. The direct director controls the shots, controls the the picture that appears but not really what goes on on the, mm -hmm. uh, you know on the set um yeah well he takes uh he takes care of um of a lot of what you just said he uh calls the shots tells which cameras to be up tells um tells uh which which camera that um that should be changed if he balances the cameras normally um in this type of field here at comcast where um it's volunteer and it's limited by the amount of people we have to do things um, the director does an enormous amount here than they would say at some other place um, for example he might start out by saying ready one take one and if John's paying attention ready one take one see your camera just went on and okay. he can switch like that yeah. and so that's basically the um, job of what, what we do and as I was telling you before here yeah. at Comcast it's, it's different because we don't have as many people to do things so the director assumes more positions than would normally well, can you show us what you're talking about? I mean, can you, could, could we go back and, and take a look at uh, well, what sure. you're directing is? Let's go out to the truck. This is the, uh, we're going to take you out to the secret heart of Comcast Cablevision, the truck. All right. This, this is exclusive to you. Uh, just follow us up here. Go. 
So this is the uh, yeah, this the is truck. it. Uh, an exclusive here. Come on, let's go. Uh, I don't know if we've ever taken our audience into the truck before. Oh, let me fix that camera here. Looking a little. Yeah, let me kind of slip over. I want to slip go over ahead. here out of the way, and we can see. Uh, there we are. So this is that's that's us right there, huh? Right. Okay. So uh, what uh, what does this do? Show us what the board does. Well, um, if you saw our old sports open, we have uh, a picture of this, but now you see it in, in its entirety. Um, okay. This is the switcher right here where we uh, cut the show. We have camera one right here. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's right now on the, um, the monitor right here. There's a monitor in the show. If oh. people uh, ever look at that during the program, it's what's being shown on the monitor is right there right now. And here's what's being shown on this camera. Oh, I like, the, I like that the, the infinity thing. It's like the... The mirror at the uh, right. men's shop there. You, you go in there and you go in, television video infinity there. Yeah. And so what I can do is I'm going to take it um, off his camera right now. And we're gone right now, y'all. We're not mm -hmm. shown. Um, what's being shown is up right here. Right. So as I, um, I could do a wipe right here. And um, you might see this in our replays that we do. Well, black hole. Right, you can add a border on it. Oh, I like that. And if you want, we can wipe to a different camera. Oh, I like that. Oh, now that's fun. That's a nice effect. I like that. So it's just some of the stuff that we do right here. It's like, you know, one thing that struck me, I can remember seeing a good 15 years ago was the video animation. It was just absolutely beautiful stuff, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen much of it since. It, you know, the, I figured by now it would be mainstream advertising techniques, and, and you just don't even see it. And as I'm moving this lever, it moves it up and down. And uh, what we can do is um, oh, beam me up Scotty here. Right. You ever watch Star Trek or something like that? No, and again, no, and again. Yeah. Never right. watched it, just. So that's some of the stuff we do right here. Mm hmm. Now, um, suppose you're editing a show. What do you do? How do you. Uh Okay, this is the editing board. What right. does the director do? Yeah. Okay, well, the director wears one of these headsets, and he can put it on. That's how you tell who the director is, right? That's, that's right, and I could... Um, He's got the biggest all, headset. Right. All the cameramen have headsets on, and I could talk to them, and I tell them, for instance, ready one, take one, and I take one. Mm -hmm. ready I take one, too. <laughs> ready three, dissolve into three. Uh-huh. And then ready two, um, for example, we can do, like, ready two... Wiping, oh, oh, oh. No, hold on, wrong hold on. Wrong effect, wrong effect. Wiping the two, there we are. Okay. So, ready to, wiping the two. You know what I like? Um, it used to be called a wipe. They used it in the old movies. Uh, we, it's like a windshield wiper going across the screen. Oh, yeah. It just clears off that picture and brings on another one. Can you do that? I don't think the closest thing we'll probably get to that is that. Oh, well, that was that. Can you do that slowly? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, modern technology. I love it. I mean, this is the biggest video game any kid's ever had, you realize. This is the, 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 Drew is the one guy with the, you know, $40,000 video game here. Um, as you're saying, editing here, we have, um, our player, what's called deck, video deck. Okay. And uh, it's right over here. I don't know if our camera can pick it up. This is where we put the tape into that has all the stuff. So when we edit hometown movies, mm -hmm. we put the tape in here and the tape we want to record on, which is going to be shown to you later on, down here and then all we have to do is just come right up here and decide where we want a certain point to come in and hit in and where we want it to come out and hit out and it basically mm -hmm. does it for you you know i find an interesting phenomenon right now even as you are right here talking and i find my eye wants to look over at the screen and watch up here everybody wants to be on tv and i understand well it's not just that it's like i'm watching you but i want to see what you look like on the screen mm -hmm. and it's the funny thing of uh, something I've noticed before where the video picture has a stronger reality than the physical reality mm -hmm. it is photographing. Um, it must be because we receive so much of our information from video screens these days that it, subconsciously we have somehow given more credence to the video screen than we do to our, our own eyes. Mm -hmm. I think that's very, very mm -hmm. true. And you are the one who will manipulate right. this for the next 40 years. Um, what is the, what's the most fun? What do you enjoy the most about this? Um, yeah, I, I enjoy the directing. Uh, yeah. When I when I direct some of your hometown movies, 
I sit right here and do it. Um, we have a computer over here, which we don't use for this show. We use a different computer, but this is what we use for the games of the week. Um, if the viewers out there watch on Mondays and Wednesdays at 9 p.m., we uh, we type in all the graphics individually and um, we put in a, a disc. It stores it all on a disc, so next time we use it, we can find it. Here's, uh, here's some guy's name right there. And we can, yeah, bring um, it up on the screen. Okay, well, here's what we'll do during the the game. Not that. Not we'll that. go like something similar to this. Okay, we except we have to change it because this is set up for something else. Okay. And there we are. I like the color. That looks nice. Oh, That's I nice designed stuff. that, by the way. Oh, really? That looks good. It's nice. I just Some, around one. Sometimes you see graphics and you can hardly read them. They're not very good, but that's right. great, that white and blue. We can wipe them on using this right here and uh, such forth. We have instant replays which we show up there and this truck is um, utilized mostly during the games of the week because uh -huh. it's um, it's mainly set up for, for a game of the week with um, the computer, um, everything hands on. It's just right mm -hmm. now you have the graphic you want and it's all set up for instant replays. And right here um, we can have a person sitting here who decides which camera they want to be shown. Um, mm -hmm. You always show, you see in the NFL or something, they show they show the replays and they have different camera angles but we have one VCR where a person can sit here and select which camera he thinks is going to have the best angle for that replay in case the director um, does not pick up that angle. So does that get all three camera signals going in yes, there and it does. stores them? Yeah actually right. Wow. Well it just comes right through here and records it on here. How, how much can be stored? The whole show? See, yeah, the whole the whole show gets recorded on this right so here. So you could go back and re-edit the show completely differently right. if you wanted to. Oh that's the Boy, what a news department could do. Well, of course, they all have this stuff, don't right. they? Uh, that's fun. That's fun. Drew's world is going to get into this sort of stuff. Understanding right. the video. Right. Understanding. Medium. Yeah, right. Exactly.